does play that very, very well. Oh, that's magnificent. He has walloped that. Billy Rope brings up his 50. Uh, I didn't know what to expect when I first came down. Huge, huge difference from Trent Bridge to coming down here, but I was all, I was so excited and I just threw myself straight into it, got stuck in and from the moment I first came to the last day of the season, I just loved every minute of it. I thought I did really well in the one day cup. That, I was most proud of that. Just because it, it was my first chance really in a team to have more responsibility. I didn't really get that at the, my previous club. So to be given that responsibility of you're going to bat for, and quite a lot of the time, that was the most important part of the innings. So to be able to take that on and, and deal with it, and I feel in a, the way that I did was very pleasing. The double hundred was, was a bit different because it was lucky that I got dropped first ball. And then, you know, people will say you still got to get him though, but I got given a big chance on naught and thankfully I didn't give another one. That first game was, I was more nervous for that than, than any of the others really because I've not really, I've played here a couple of times, but not very often. and. We hadn't really trained on the on the pitch before. We had a little two-day game, but it was on one of the outside. So I didn't really know what to expect from the wicket. And as it turned out, it was one of the best ones I've ever played on. I think we were, I think we did 272 overs in the dirt. So, so it was a really good batting pitch. So that helped a lot. But to get a score in the first in the first game was was yeah, it was a massive nerve settler, and it made me feel part of the club straight away. I, I really enjoy my fielding, and I think you've got to love it especially in the short formats because everything happens so quick and you've got to be switched on all the time. When I was younger, I used to hate it. I used to hate field oh, when we bat in. Oh, I want to bowl now because I'm bored. But actually, as I've got older and as I've played more, I've really enjoyed fielding. And I think if you, if you do have that attitude, you can, you can surprise yourself just in what you can do just from having that attitude. I, I, I want to be out here, I want the ball. And I think that making that switch in my mind was one of the reasons why I've, I feel like I've turned myself into a decent fielder. Everyone at the club, as soon as you walk in the front door, you've got the ladies on the desk are always really nice and welcoming. And from the first moment I walked in, everyone that I've worked with involved has just been like that. And especially in the coaching staff, if, you, if you're not feeling something's quite right, then everyone's always open to talk to or give a bit of advice but also let you figure it out yourself and I think for me that was that's been key. This preseason has been tough physically which is personally what I need and I know a lot of the lads will be benefiting from it as well. From a personal perspective what I'm working on I would say definitely I'm gonna tune into my 2020 game try and expand a little bit on that obviously I've got a lot of work to do with my bowling because I had to remodel my action and, and start again almost but my two main focuses will be my, probably my shorter format maybe back end of 50 over games and really get my bowling to a spot to a spot that I want it to be at. I think this year we'll definitely target just a little bit better in the championship. I think the qualification in the one day competition and the 2020s are always going to be a goal. Um, but I think an improvement for the 2020 sort of has to happen, not just because we, we had poor results last year, but I think just because of the quality of the squad, it will happen. But we need, need to figure out how we can get the best out of each other by the first game. So we can put that performance in first game and get us on a roll, which we almost did last year. And then we fell at the last minute and then we, we sort of had to fight back from there as opposed to being up. So I think with 2020, it can be a bit of a lottery like that. But I think the way our squad is balanced, there's no reason we can't, we can't qualify for those two competitions.